Hey, welcome back. It's Tony Creek's Part Tracer here, and I'm excited to show you this series of videos. It's going to be a three-part series on how to wire light switches in your home. So people have been asking me to do videos on light switches, so today I decided to do it. So I'm going to make this the easiest, most less, most least, less complicated way to uh, wire in your light switches. Um, so if you're the beginner, you found the right place. If you're more of an advanced level, this can just be a refresher for you and I might show you something new. But if you're doing like a remodel or if you're going to build a home and you decide that you want to tackle the electrical yourself to save yourself money because guys like me can cost a lot of money, I guarantee you can do this. You can do it safely and you can do it right. So this first video is going to be super short. It's going to just be the basics of one light switch to a set of lights. The second video is going to be on two light switches to some lights, more commonly known as three-way switching. And then lastly, the last video is going to be on three or more switches to some lights, also known as four-way switching. So let's get into it. Single switch designs are the easiest designs to do inside of a house. These are found on bathrooms and usually bedrooms where there's one entrance into that room. As for the power coming into it, this is going to come from the circuit breaker, which is depicted right here. This is in your breaker panel. Black is always going to be on your um, circuit breaker, and then your white and your ground are going to be on their own um, bars that you tighten down the wires. Now, as you see below here, this is a yellow piece of Romex. This is depicting a run from your breaker to your switch, which is right here, so that outlet box. And then you have white Romex here, which is showing it going from your light switch up to your light on your ceiling. Now, yellow means that there is a number 12 size wire inside of this Romex. This happens to be a 12-2, so you have a black, which is one, and then your white, which is two, 12-2. And then they always have a copper ground inside of that run. Now there's also white, which is 14-2. It's a smaller gauged wire. And this is more commonly found on light circuits. So if you're having this all for just lights, you can just run white Romex throughout the entire circuit. I normally run a yellow through everything, and then I just have my 14-2 go from my outlet to my um, light, but you can do whatever you want in this case. It is cheaper to do 14 to the whole circuit if you're just running the lights. Now, as for how this thing hooks up, you have your black coming from your circuit breaker and it goes into the bottom of your switch. I depict bottom as where my ground screw is on my switches. Also, this says off and off is typically in the down position. So my blacks and come on my right hand side, it's the first brass screw on the bottom so that's your line, and then your power going out of the switch is on your load, which is another brass screw on the top right here, and that just goes out to your light. Now, everything's commoned up. Your neutrals are commoned up inside your box, and your grounds are commoned up inside your box, and then up here at the light, you can see this ground's just kind of hanging there, and that's totally fine. This fixture does not have a ground screw on it, so you don't have to hook up a ground screw. Typically, if it's a metal fixture, then it will have a ground screw. Then you just take this ground and hook it up to that ground screw. So let's go ahead and turn on power here on our breaker. And then as you can see, with the easy flick of my switch, the light comes on and off. And that's how you hook up a single switch to a set of lights. Now, if you had multiple lights set up here, you would just take your black where you landed on here and just daisy chain it over to the next one along with your white and you just keep doing that. You can have multiple lights running on the same circuit. That's gonna wrap up part one. Stay tuned to part two where we get into multiple light switches. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions regarding to this video. Make sure and like the video. Subscribe if you want. It's a free way to help my content out. And until next time, take it easy. Thanks again.